Hey there guys, this is the Be Your Hero Gaming Channel where we talk about gaming and how you can be a hero in real life. And today we're gonna talk about the difference between these two books and just bear with me here for just a second and this book. I realize this is Warhammer 40K, but uh, I don't have the handbook for Age of Sigmar, uh, but I imagine it's almost the same thing, but just Age of Sigmar instead of Warhammer 40K. So we're gonna talk about the difference between these three books. Um, and the reason I made this video was because I was trying to decide which of uh, the new Age of Sigmar sets to buy. And I noticed they came with different books and I wasn't sure which book I wanted. And I couldn't really find a video that talked about uh, the differences between the books. There was kind of some reviews where they kind of flipped through them quick and didn't really talk about what was in the books. And so I thought, hey, if I have this question, maybe other people have the same question. So I thought I'd do this video just to kind of square you away on what is the difference between these three books. Again, uh, Age of Sigmar Handbook, not Warhammer 40K. Um, which boxes they come in and why you might need which book. Uh, but before I get to that, um, Let's talk about being a hero here for just a second. Uh, I, I saw a, a movie recently that I thought had a really cool quote in it. Um, a bunch of soldiers were about to go out into battle, speaking of battles, and uh, a couple of them were terrified. And one of the things that the, the uh, leader of the, of the unit said is, there is no courage without fear. And uh, I thought that was really cool because, yeah, you can't really have courage to go do something unless you're scared of it. Uh, and another um, uh, quote I read actually from a book that I'm reading, and if you know what book this is from, uh, that'd be interesting to see if, if uh, you guys know what book this is, but um, you can put it down in the comments if you know which one it is. Um, there's a guy in the book who is learning to ride a horse, and they start him out on this really old horse, and he's riding it, and uh, he thinks it's not a big deal, but he's kind of afraid of riding horses. He doesn't really want to do it because he's afraid of it. And he looks to the side and there's this wild, crazy, muscular, young horse that's thrashing around. And he gets off the horse and he walks over to it and says, I'm going to ride that horse. And everybody starts freaking out saying, whoa, 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 no, don't do that. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you ride that horse? And he said, because these things scare me. And I thought that was really cool. Um, again, just, just a story, but applicable to our own lives where if there's something that scares us, instead of trying to avoid it or going around it or... Um, pretending like it doesn't exist, just go right to it. And I mean, what's the worst could happen? You get thrown off the horse. I have been thrown off a horse before and it hurts really bad. Um, uh, but you know, it's just really cool to see these people in real life, well, in stories, but again, we can apply this to our real lives where if there's something that we're afraid of or that scares us, that's when you have courage. That's when you go forward and face your fears until pretty soon that's not a fear anymore. And how cool would it be if we faced every one of our fears one at a time, head on, and eliminated fear from our lives. That would be really cool. I, I, I mean, I feel like that one thing would make us a hero. Just, I'm not afraid of anything. I, every fear I've ever had, I've approached it, I've faced it, I've dealt with it, and I've eliminated fear from my life. Anyway, may, maybe that's impossible, maybe it's not. Cool idea, something to think about. But let's talk about these books here for just a second. So. Uh, these two books here, the Fire and Jade book and the Core book, come in the Skaven Tide set. And um, if you want to get the Ultimate Starter set, you're going to get the Fire and Jade book and the Handbook for Age of Sigmar again. Um, these come in the Ultimate Starter set. And I think the lower sets, I don't think you get this in some of the smaller sets. I think you get a handbook or a small pamphlet or something like that. Ultimate Starter set come with the Handbook and the Fire and Jade book. And then the Skaven Tide set comes with these two books. Now, let's just talk about briefly what these books are all about. First of all, I just want to go over the handbook here really quick. Again, imagine this is Age of Sigmar, not Warhammer 40K. My son uh, got this set a while back, so that's why we had this book here. But if you look at the photograph of what the game contents are, uh, it says Age of Sigmar, uh, uh, I don't think it says Spearhead, Age of Sigmar Handbook. And so I, I imagine it's almost the same thing. And so what this book contains... Again, you guys might be thinking, everybody knows what's in those books. It says right on the website. Well, for some reason, I read the website and I still couldn't wrap my head around what was in these books. I thought, wait, now, which, which one of these do I want and why do I want it? Uh, mainly because there's this new uh, Spearhead variant. Um, and, and then there's the Age of Sigmar rules, which, again, I, I actually stopped by a uh, Games Workshop uh, store when I was out of town uh, uh, one weekend. And... They led me to believe that Spearhead was a completely separate game. It was 
different, and, and it is it is a little bit different, but it uses the Age of Sigmar core rules, uh, which I didn't know. It, it led me to believe that Spearhead was just something totally different, which it's not. It's just a slight variant on the Age of Sigmar rules, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So if you get the Ultimate Starter Set, you're going to get these two books, and in this book, there is, again, Age of Sigmar, not a Warhammer 40K. There's, a, there's how to build, uh, build and play, and then there's going to be instructions on building your models. Okay, again, Age of Sigmar, not Warhammer 40K. There's a little bit on building your models and the terrain. And then this has Space Marines and Tyranids in it. I imagine the other one's going to have Skaven and Stormcast Eternals. A little blurb about the different factions or chapters. A little bit about the Tyranids. And then um, some model examples and kind of some different uh, uh, hives, I guess. I don't know, hive mind here of the, the Tyranids. And then, again, this is the handbook. They are gonna start you off extremely basic, okay? One versus one, here's what you do. And they're gonna give you basics on dice rolls and attacks, and then there's gonna be another scenario. Oh, and actually, I think they walk you through this turn by turn, because I think we've done this already before. Um, they're gonna walk you through this turn by turn on what to do, how to attack, how to do your roles. So the handbook is, is essentially for someone who's never played before, who wants to really be taken by the hand and walk through how to play, okay? Again, this comes with the ultimate starter set. And so they're gonna take you through turn by turn with just one model versus one model and how to play. And then the next scenario, uh, they're gonna talk about movement. And there's gonna be, okay, there's a few more models now. We're gonna walk you through movement and how uh, far apart your, your units need to be and all that stuff to be a cohesive unit. And, and essentially they just keep, so training scenario two, they're just gonna take you through, add an element of the rules and then play a scenario until eventually, I think they have one here, charging, how to charge. So they're gonna talk about a new type of movement, charging. And then they're gonna take you through fighting and now training scenario three. Now that you've learned a couple more rules, we're gonna take you through this training scenario. And then I think at the end, okay, so turn by turn, they take you through movement phase, charge phase, combat phase, and now the Tyranids turn. They take you through and tell you exactly what to do. And so it's a really good way um, to learn the rules if you've never played before. And again, this is 40K, you can, you can do this. This one comes with the ultimate starter set for Warhammer 40K, as well as the ultimate starter set for Age of Sigmar, except it'll just be Age of Sigmar. Until eventually, terrain, they're gonna to talk to you about terrain. Okay, what happens when you approach terrain? And then I think there's a mission at the end that involves all the rules, okay? Again, turn sequence, they're gonna walk you through all this. And, and I think they maybe take you through one turn and turn you loose. And then a little bit more about collecting space marines and tyrants. So that's what the handbook is. Uh, so again, Age of Sigmar or 40K, that's what you're gonna get. How to build your models and walking you through the game turn by turn. Uh, until you learn the basic rules, okay? This does not have all the rules in it that are in uh, Age of Sigmar or 40K. It's just the very basic rules on moving, fighting, terrain, uh, and so forth, okay? Uh, again, comes in the Ultimate Starter Set. Now, if you get the Skaven Tide Set, uh, now let's get into Age of Sigmar because that's what this video is supposed to be about. If you get the Skaven Tide Set, you're gonna get these two books. And I was a little bit scared at first. Let me show you why in just a second, because I thought these books were the same thing almost, um, but they're not. Um, first of all, the Spearhead book, by Iron Jade. What this is gonna do is at the very beginning here, there is um, the Spearhead variant rules, okay, at the very beginning. So this is assuming that you've already read the core rules for uh, Age of Sigmar, because as you can see in here, let me find an example here. Okay, so as you can see here, they will refer to, um, I thought I had an example here, not there. They will refer to the core rules. Okay, right here. So right here it will say, okay, reinforcements, see core rules 24.2. So they will refer to the core rules here. Um, again, the spearhead is going to be a slight variant on the core rules. It uses a smaller army. Uh, that's more manageable on a smaller board. But as you can see here, if you flip through all the spearhead rules, here's a spearhead battle, what it looks like, um, a couple of examples. Okay, so, so that is it. So this is like on page 13. 
So the first 13 pages of this book, Fire and Jade, are going to talk to you about the spearhead rules variant, how to play spearhead. Okay, it's, it's 13 pages. And again, this is assuming that you've read the core rules and you know about the core rules. Okay, that's what's in this book. Now, the spearhead armies. This is going to walk you through every spearhead army, I think, that exists currently. Um, so Stormcast Eternals, there's a couple of variants on that. Here's your, your four main um, units here. There's another Stormcast Eternal uh, section. If you have uh, the Celestial Spear and this Chariot guy over here, um, I think there's a couple like that. There's a Skaven one, but there's a couple of different ones that you can use Cities of Sigmar. So this is gonna go through all the Seraphon, the Sylvaneth this is gonna go through all of them and give you the basic stats for all of the units that you need to play Spearhead with all of the different, the different factions of the different groups, okay? So that's what, that, that's what this book also includes. Now, the part where I got kind of a little bit nervous, so here's Sylvaneth, tells you all the, the Sylvaneth stats for all those models, the Dwarves, and so forth. The Skaven, Skaven have a couple different ones here. You can see they have the, um, this is the one I think that comes with the set, Nafi's Claw Pack, but then you also have uh, the Warspark Claw Pack where you get this Warspark Cannon stuff, pretty cool. Um, so the part where I got nervous was, is once I got through all of the different uh, units here, I got to the back of the book and in the back of the, get there, not there yet. I probably should have put a bookmarker in here. Vampires, Night Haunt, all the, all the units here that are possible to use in Spearhead and every model that you will need. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, one thing I think is kind of cool are these guys. You can just be three giants. How cool is that? Three giants, and that might be a fun one to play. Okay, the rules. So this is where I got nervous. So I opened this book up, and I found the core rules. Okay, so this is the core rules for Age of Sigmar, is what this is. So, uh, again, it says Spearhead on the book, and it does have the first 13 pages at the beginning here are the Spearhead variant, and then all of the, the different uh, Spearhead armies. And then at the back of the book, you have core rules. Okay, now let me just set this aside for just a second. Now let's get to this book. Okay, the core book. In this book, and many of you know from previous books that this is mostly lore. Most of this book is going to be, you're going to open it up here, and it's going to say, okay, the Warhammer hobby, here's how you play, collecting an army, building and painting, and then you're going to get into this giant section of, of lore. The book's going to talk about the war-torn realms, how we're fighting all the time, and, and there's a bunch of uh, sections in here about about how all the armies are fighting. There's a world map here that shows all the different uh, realms where all the, the factions live and hang out. Um, so most of the beginning part is just gonna be lore. This, this isn't something that we're really interested in. We kind of read a little bit of this every now and again, but uh, we, we mainly like to paint the models and play a little bit. But uh, as far as our interest in this game, I really like, just like to paint the models. And, we play a little bit. So, so most of this is lore. So if you're really interested on what's going on with all these different factions and, and how they uh, don't like each other, and, and it will go through each one. The Sentinels of Order, which are the Stormcast Eternals, uh, the Sylvaneth, the Cities of Sigmar, Seraphon are all in here, the Elves, and then it will go through um, just each different uh, major, I can't remember what they call them, group or realm or whatever, you know, chaos and and all that stuff. Anyway, all, all this stuff is in here. And this, the, the Soul Blight Grave Lords, which are the vampires and the, the zombies and all that stuff. And they'll, each section will have a little area here where they'll, they'll have a little diorama set up with some painted models. Uh, but again, you can see I'm on page 172 already, and I haven't gotten to any rules yet. Okay, Gloom Spike gets, again, a lot of you probably might say, hey, uh, yo, we already knew about all this. But um, again, I think there's a lot of people out there that don't know what's in these books. So I just thought I'd go through this just so you can see what's in all these. So once you get past all of this lore and all of the model uh, dioramas, you get to the rules. Okay, this is where I got nervous. I opened this up and I saw the rules here. Let me get to, okay, core rules. Now, if you'll notice here, let's bring this book back. This is exactly the same 
And I thought, oh no, is this, why would I need the rules twice in these two books? And so I got a little bit nervous that the core, the core rules that are in the Spearhead book are the exact same as the core rules in the core rules book. And I thought, why in the world do I need this book? Uh, why did it come with that? Okay, well, there's a reason here. And again, I didn't know this. Um, maybe some of you also don't know that. If you flip through all the core rules here, okay, let's get a couple pages in here. Grab this book. Flip a couple pages in here, and you can see, yep, they're the same thing, page for page. And as I flip the pages here, the rules are identical. Now, except when you get to, let me get to the page here. I had to flip through these page by page just to double check that it was the exact same thing. And I thought, man, sure enough, it's, they're the same rules page by page until you get towards the back here. Okay, this is the special rules section. More of the special rules. Okay, and this is, says the end of your turn, and this says the end of your turn. Okay, now, at the end of the spearhead book, you have end of turn, just like you do in the core rules book, and then you have a spearhead glossary, okay? That I'm sure refers to the spearhead way of playing um, particularly. So you have the core rules for Age of Sigmar. You have the spearhead um, additional rules at the beginning on how to set up a spearhead battle, as well as all the spearhead armies in here. This is where the books differ. And the turn spearhead glossary. Let's set this aside and bring this one in. Advanced rules. Okay, so once I flipped through, I thought, oh, whew, this actually does have something that the spearhead book does not have. It has the advanced rules for Age of Sigmar. So, if you want to play Spearhead exclusively, this is your book, okay? Because this will have the Spearhead uh, rules variant, and it will have all the Spearhead armies in it, and the Age of Sigmar core rules, the basic core rules, okay? That, again, are not in this book. This has the basic, basic rules on how to just fight, move, and so forth. In this book, you'll get a little bit more, and in this book, you'll have even more if you want to play Age of Sigmar. Okay, so this book uh, really has, what are the advanced rules? And I don't know, maybe you can see this or not. Um, commands, terrain, magic, army composition, command models, and battle tactics. So we'll break all those things down into more detail uh, that are not going to be included in the spearhead rules. Okay, terrain rules, magic rules for wizards and priests, um, Spells, prayers, manifestations, all these additional things that, that you might have some models that can do. Army composition, how to put together your army for an Age of Sigmar battle. Um, and then a little overview here, kind of a step-by-step -step thing, whether you want to do 1,000 points or 2,000 points. It tells you about the play time for that. Again, Age of Sigmar specific. Um, command models, uh, leader models that can have certain kinds of abilities, standard bearers, musicians. And when you assemble your spearhead army, it actually recommends, um, again, I don't know the specifics, but it recommends certain ways to assemble your models. And I think it recommends to assemble them in, in command units like this. So if you play Age of Sigmar, you have a standard bearer and a musician um, and a champion. And then you can play the Age of Sigmar rules with those models. Battle tactics. Okay, battle packs. Now, this is going to go into a little more detail on a uh, spearhead, or sorry, not more detail, but just a little summary on how to play spearhead, matched play, different ways that you can play, okay? And then, again, the core rule book that the spearhead book does not have, it will give you a couple of matched play battle packs on how to set up a game of Age of Sigmar. There's a bunch of those in here. And then there's also, I can't remember which one it is, but they also talk a little bit about campaign play, how to, uh, to play where one uh, battle um, kind of plays off the, the, the previous one, okay? And so there's a little bit more information about that, different ways to play, different ways to set things up. Again, all not in the Spearhead book. Different battle plans, Wreck and Ruin, the Ritual, Aftermath Sequence, uh, kind of what to do after the battle to give yourself glory points that are going to affect the next battle. Um, and then 
Again, I don't know exactly what I, I am. I, I know enough about Age of Sigmar to be dangerous, but I'm definitely not a professional. I will give you that disclaimer right now. Um, I don't know exactly what this is, but I think it has to do with a hero's progression uh, as far as what uh, different um, different abilities the hero is going to gain as you play. And maybe correct, correct me if I'm wrong if you guys know more about this than I do. But that's what I understand this to be here is you have different heroes that are going to progress through the game. And then you have a glossary at the end of the book. Okay, so just in summary here, what do you need and which one of these books would you need to play Age of Sigmar? Again, this book here that comes with the Ultimate Starter Set will walk you through the very, very basics. Even turn by turn, it'll even start you out with two models, one model per side on how to play. Again, this is 40K and it's the same thing in 40K, but uh, the Age of Sigmar handbook, I, I believe is probably almost the same thing. Um, that will walk you through the game. The Spearhead book will have, the Fire and Jade book will have all of the Spearhead armies that you need to play, all of the models that you need, how to construct them, and all of the abilities and stats will all be listed in this book. It will give you the basic core rules uh, as well as the Spearhead specific rules will be in this book. In this book, if you want to play Age of Sigmar, it will give you a whole ton of lore. In fact, I think it's like it's like 190 pages or something crazy like that. I can't remember what it was before it even gets to the rules. It's something nuts. What's this, what's this page here? Yeah, 100, 190 pages. Yeah, that's what it is. 190 pages of lore. So this all this stuff is just information about the game and the different... Sorry, not the game. The, the lore, the factions and how they like or don't like each other. That's all this 190 pages. And then you can see here, there's a little bit left on rules at the back. But this book is gonna be Age of Sigmar specific, where if you wanna play Age of, you, you could play Age of Sigmar with this. Uh, so if you got the ultimate starter set and all you had was this, you could play Age of Sigmar. But this book is going to have all the advanced rules if you really wanna get into the game and use your commanders and your musicians and standard bearers and, and uh, magic users and all that kind of stuff is all gonna be in this book. I really hope this was helpful. Again, I really didn't know what I was doing. So I just thought, well, I'll just get the Skaven Tide book because it comes with these two books and I can go through, or sorry, the Skaven Tide box. And then I'll go through these books and just see what these are all about. And uh, I thought, oh man, I don't have the handbook. And then I realized we had the handbook for 40K. And again, it's probably almost the same thing. Um, hopefully that's helpful for you guys in deciding which one of these books you need, which one of them you want, and how you want to get into this game. Uh, remember, if there's something you're scared of, that's probably something you should go after because there is no courage without fear. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys take care, play some games, have some fun, and be heroes out there.